Well, it was another chilly morning as temperatures fell back into the upper 30s. Some frost in some spots this morning across the valley and a sunny morning has turned into a mostly sunny afternoon. Right now, a field of cumulus clouds out there in Youngstown under Groover roofing and siding traffic camera temperatures out in Youngstown in the upper 50s. We're seeing that wind out of the north again right across the lake and as that wind kind of pushes across the lake, it picks up that moisture and then a few clouds will pop up as a result across northeast Ohio at western Pennsylvania. Temperatures though warming up nicely right now. Temperatures anywhere from the mid to upper 50s at the moment and that wind like I mentioned right out of the north around 8 miles per hour. So today sun rose at 607. We'll get to about 60 degrees for a high temperature today. Finally welcoming back the 60s, although this time of the year we should be in the upper 60s to around 70. So we'll still be about 8 to 10 degrees below the uh, average this time of the year. We'll call it mostly sunny with a uh, slight breeze and of course not as chilly compared to the previous couple of days. 36 tonight. We're still going to worry about patchy frost, but it is going to be clear that sun will set south of the 830 time frame. Overall for tomorrow, we are going to deal with frost early on in the morning, but look at our forecast coming up here over the next few days. Really not going to have to worry about frost or freeze over the next seven or so days. So I crunched the numbers here. A lot of people asking, well, when is the date of our last frost? Over the last 10 or so years, last year we hit it back in May 13th. April 29th is when we hit it, and then April 30th back in 2019 and 2018. So an early start to the season, to the growing season, both in 2019 and 2018. There is a good chance, though, that tomorrow morning might, might be the last frost of the season, just kind of comparing the low temperatures over the next 7 to 10 days. Nothing really looking like it kind of falls south of 40 degrees, but our average is coming up here in the next week or so uh, around May 18th, and it's going to be a dry stretch too coming up here. Here's our future cast over the next seven days. Now we might have some rain kind of sneak in Monday and Tuesday, but regardless, the next uh, five to seven days looking like maybe we pick up a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less in some spots, going to be a very, very dry stretch with uh, really the next chance for a shower not coming until early next week. And there's some even better news as far as the temperature outlook goes. This continues to track into uh, uh, late May, close and close to Memorial Day. And I kind of looked at the extended models uh, this morning and things really are trending more towards the mid to upper 70s, especially go when we go into the days kind of leading up to Memorial Day weekend. So that is some good news. This is our 10 day stretch that will take us through next Saturday and you can notice Thursday through Saturday. We're slightly above the average this time of the year. That's in the low 70s, so low 70s starting to pop up as we head into the middle portion and latter portion of next week. Until we get there, though, uh, some good news still. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s, uh, really starting on Saturday, upper 60s on Sunday, and then low 70s for Monday and into Tuesday.